I want to share some thoughts about a person oh so dear. Her name is Wanda, so I bid you to come and listen clear. She'll say it again and she'll say it loud. Of her Haudenosaunee ancestry, she is very proud. As executive director of The Circle is where we met, a job particularly attuned to her unique skill set. She's done a wonderful job to make The Circle much stronger, but we're all sad she's not planning to stay with us longer. Many a times I've called her, often in a pickle, sage advice she's provided without charging me a nickel. Her leadership for the Declaration of Action has been without blunder, making sure it lived and breathed and wasn't a one-hit wonder. We'll miss her as she embarks on her new trail, but I know our friendship will last without fail. So I pay tribute and say thanks to Wanda, my dear friend. Please know that this is but the beginning and not the end. Wanda, you're amazing. You have helped the Canadian Nurses Foundation really focus its vision on supporting Indigenous nursing. You're a doer. You're a go-getter, and you have so much energy and enthusiasm, it's contagious. That's why you're so amazing at what you do. You are like a border collie. You're hardworking, you're always looking for a challenge, and you round people up together to do amazing things. And you're cute as a button. Wanda, thank you for all you do. My name is Juliana and I met Wanda early in my journey of learning about the true history of the First Nations people in Canada. As I was learning, I became incredibly upset. I felt alarm and I was infuriated. No one had taught me this curriculum when I was growing up. Wanda saw my anguish. She heard my panic and instead of being disgusted by my ignorance and turning away from me, Wanda connected with me, shared her wisdom and became my mentor. Wanda, you changed my life in fundamental ways. I am incredibly grateful to have you in my life. Because of you, I am more aware of how love and understanding can connect us all. When I feel heartbreak for the past, I remember how you taught me not to be paralyzed, how I need to find humility and courage to work through my rage and shame. You have shown me how to be a respectful ally with the First Nations people I meet. You are an incredible woman, and I am truly blessed to have you in my life. Thank you. Hi, Wanda. Um, so I've been asked to describe a time where your leadership has shown through for me. And uh, looking back, I, I can't pick one specific time, but uh, I can say that in my entire career, um, I have never had anybody that has believed in me as much as you have. Um, I haven't had anybody push me <laughs> as much as you have. And one of the things that I, I've learned is, is to learn how to, um, really to say no, and uh, you know, who, who can say no to Wanda? So, um, thank you very much, and um, I love you. Um, hey Wanda, I was given three questions, but I'm gonna answer something totally different. Um, after graduating, I didn't really believe in myself as much. I didn't think that, I was made to think, I think, that I didn't have the experience to do certain things, or I wasn't ready for certain things, and then I met you, you gave me a shot, and you threw me into the fire many times. Um, and I think after many conversations we've had with each other, you've shown me to value myself, value other people um, for what they bring. 
to like to the table. So thank you so much. I love you. Wanda. You've done for me what you've done for so many of us. Broaden the circle and invited us in. Thank you. Thank you for your wisdom and your friendship. Uh, it's been such a pleasure to work with you, and I hope I get to work with you forever and ever. Uh, if I were to choose an animal for you, I would suggest that it would be a mink or an otter because you are uh, small but perfect and you are fast and every time I think I know where you are you pop up somewhere else and you are smart 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 uh, so thank you for everything and thank you for all that you've brought to my life and to the circle hi Wanda today we're celebrating you and recognizing all your hard work what you and your team have done for the circle is truly remarkable Although you may be leaving the circle, you will never be far away. We will all continue to seek your guidance. We all have witnessed your dedication to the circle while never forgetting your roots. What I most appreciated was your friendship. You are truly an inspiration to us all. Wanda, I want to add my salute to you and to your wonderful leadership of the circle. I value our friendship very much. And the best part of this tribute is that it is not actually a goodbye, as we will continue working together in different ways. I have learned so much from you, but the biggest learning is that there is always time, and indeed it is essential time, to get to know others in a room or on a call, that the time getting to learn about a person's home place, her or his heritage, and what makes them sparkle in the world, is much finer and richer way to start a meeting. I've learned that we don't have time not to truly connect with others before plunging into the nitty-gritty of our work discussion. You have brought a lot to CEGN in your role as a board member, and often this has been through gentle comments that have made me refer to you as my Jiminy Cricket, helping me rethink a rationale, an approach, or a perspective. For example, the fact that Canada's 150th would of course be viewed very differently from an Indigenous perspective. You have been, and I hope will continue to be, for me, my own personal reconciliation guide. And as our network of environmental funders strives to connect better with Indigenous communities and organizations in order to help forge a more sustainable future for Canada, your wisdom and leadership will continue to be invaluable. Thank you. Miigwech. Greetings from Stony Nakoda Territory, also known as Banff. And the four of us just want to say thank you so much for all the work you've done for the circle. We're hoping to continue working with you to advance reconciliation in Canada. And I'll ask my Good luck, colleagues. Wanda, and uh, it was a pleasure uh, knowing you, working with you. We hope uh, you we stay in touch. And uh, good luck with your new projects. And it's fitting that we're sitting behind a mountain and you have been a mountain of support for all of us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Wanda, for your friendship and all of the gifts that you've brought to the circle. Miigwech. 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 Leadership is not about a title or a designation. It's about impact, influence, and inspiration. Impact involves getting results. Influence is about spreading the passion you have for your work. Inspiration is something you bring to your co-workers and the people you come in contact with through your work. This quote captures what you have brought to the circle. On a more personal note, I must tell you, I have very much enjoyed working with you. But more importantly, I've come to think of you as a friend. As you move on, I know that we will always keep in touch. For now, I hope you will take some time, and when you start looking for your next adventure, I wish you all the best. To quote the Dead Dog Cafe as you move forward, stay calm, be brave, and wait for the signs. Take care. Hi Wanda, this is on behalf of Andrew Bearrobe, who will not be opening up his own YouTube channel anytime soon. Hello Wanda. It has been just great knowing you for the past two years. 
I admire your professionalism and sense of commitment to philanthropy for Aboriginal peoples. There is no Blackfoot word for goodbye. We just say, see you again. If Wanda were an animal, most decidedly, if Wanda were an animal, she would be a mama bear. Wanda is incredibly nurturing, very gentle, incredibly aware, and very, very protective of the things she cares about. Wanda, you have done incredible work nurturing the circle and protecting it over these years. I've learned an incredible amount from you, and I'm looking forward to continuing our journey together. Thank you. I think one of the biggest differences that Wanda has made to the circle is that she has um, influenced our capacity to build new partnerships and have deep relationships with our members because of her own warm and open and funny personality. Wanda, you've taken us in so many new directions and built so many new relationships for us and it's just made all the difference. And I know that for foundations who are looking to figure out what is our place in reconciliation, how do we get comfortable, how do we learn the language, build relationships, uh, you've just been such a patient guide, a safe person to talk to, and I really want to thank you for everything and uh, just really underline your contribution to the circle. Thanks!